सी के चैलेंज क्वेश्चन थर्टी सिक्स जनरेट अ फाइल सी के जीरो जीरो सेवन डॉट टी एक्स टी विथ डिटेल्स अबाउट द एवेलेबल साइज ऑफ ऑल द नोट्स इन अ कोबरनिटीज क्लस्टर यूजिंग अ कॉस्टम कॉलम फॉर्मेट एज मैंसन बिलो दिस क्वेश्चन हैव द वेटेज ऑफ फाइव परसेंट This question is asking you to create a file name cka007.txt that contains information about the available memory and available CPU of all the node in a Kubernetes cluster. The information should be presented in a custom column format which means that you will need to define the format and content of the columns. To complete this task you will need to gather information about the node in the cluster and extract the available memory and cpu informations for each node the available memory refers to the amount of the memory that is not currently been used by any processes while the available cpu refers to the amount of cpu resources that are not currently been used once you have gathered the necessary informations you will need to format it in a way that meets the requirement of the custom column format this may involves defining a specific columns and their contents such as node name the amount of available memory and the amount of available cpu the resulting file should be named as ck007.txt and should contain all the relevant informations in the specific custom column format this file can then be used to provide insight into the resources uses of the nodes in the kubernetes cluster which can be helpful for troubleshooting and optimization purposes take on the challenge of solving these questions on your own first but if you encountered any difficulty in solving it refer the next video for the solutions good luck so this is my eks cluster so let me execute the query qctl get node so you can see that we have only two nodes available and these are the informations we get when we simple write a command qctl get node the name which we are uh, the, we are going to provide in this case as well the status this is not required the roles not required the age and the version is not required so what is required we need to provide the allocated available memory and the available cpu with name we required only two informations and we need to write the that information into a file okay so we were we are going to look into the json path that how we are going to build the custom column okay you, using all those informations of the json path so for that kubectl get node okay output of json we are going to see all the details so it will provide me uh, the informations about all the all the nodes currently we have only two so i am going at the top here you have some informations like in the metadata okay so in the metadata we we will have the name available okay so you can see that we will get the name of the node from this place okay this is fine and regarding the uh, the available memory okay so if you scroll a little bit you will find the allocated memory this is the capacity that you allocate okay and this is the current status so we will pick uh, the memory part from this place okay and the cpu part from this place so now it's seen is clear that we have to use the allocate this will come under the status okay so we are going to write our query to get all these informations first we will display it and then if it is satisfactory then we will write into a file okay so let's start kubectl get node output of we are going to use the custom column okay and the first field is name so name will be capital as as defined in the uh, in the requirement so in the browser it will take some time to get rendered sometimes it's slow uh, after that we will write colon 
and then we will use the metadata okay metadata and the metadata we have name we already seen that okay and the second uh, column will be without any space available memory okay and again the column and this will come from the status okay and locatable spelling is correct locatable dot memory okay this is fine and now the uh, the, the third column will be label cpu okay again column dot uh, we have to check the command again dot we are using at each places okay now again the status dot table okay dot cpu okay so this is the command we written uh, to get our desired result okay when we click on the enter if we have to see either the output is coming as per our requirement or not so you can see that uh, we are able to uh, fetch for both the nodes and the available memory whatever the available memory whatever the available cpu for both the node is coming uh, fine okay so now it's time to write into the file okay so we can write it very easily cka 007.txt okay so we return it in a file let me cat it to just to verify the details uh, either it's written in a file or not cka 00 or just plus tab button so you can see that the whatever the requirement in this particular question we are able to achieve it and now we are come back from the cluster and jump into the other questions.